How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to part 35 of our Persona 4 Golden playthrough. And last we left off, last episode was just a social link building episode. We completed Naoto and the Fox's social link, and then our teammates at school, as well as the um, Temperance social link at the daycare. Both of them are only two ranks away from becoming maxed. And so hopefully we will have enough time to get them maxed out before uh, the end of the series here. And then um, when eventually we get ready to go and do uh, one of the final dungeons, I will uh, just work on Margaret's social link and try and just take her from 1 to 10 immediately. Her social link, there really isn't a whole lot to it other than she just is going to ask me for personas um and then that have certain skills and then i just show her uh, show the persona to her and then it ranks up okay we're gonna draw a fortune again and i just want to make sure that like i said in the last video uh i want to make sure that um Every time I hang out with them, it's a rank up, and we don't have to waste any time. Uh, like, wasting a day hanging out with them to get ready to rank up. So today is a rainy day, but then tonight uh, should be the midnight channel. So there is nothing to do, unfortunately, because it's raining. Um, which, if it wasn't raining, we could hang out at the daycare and do that but it is raining so let's go oh we can actually go to Aya and uh, now finally complete the beef bowl challenge now that my stats are now officially maxed out However, you are confident you can finish it. You finished your meal. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. Your personality has grown tremendously. I did finish it. Aya! I'm amazed you finished that entire thing. Since you ate it all, your meal is free. Yay! You can't see it, but I got a steam achievement called Food Fighter. Uh, oh, no midnight channel tonight? Interesting. It must be next time then. Or tomorrow night. No, I didn't hang out with anyone today, so... Oh yeah, it's raining, so I can't even do that. Um... Well, I don't really know what to do. I don't really need to do anything. I guess I'll read a book. We'll read the bug hunting book, even though I don't really need it anymore. Rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Man, it sucks that Friday and Saturday were both rainy days because those are the only days. Those and Mondays are the only days I can go to the daycare. Um, man, I really don't have anything to do. Uh, I'm actually going to go here and... It's not raining here. <laughs> See if there's any costumes to buy. <laughs> yes, I want this one. 
Uh, the Neo Featherman, this basically turns me into the Power Rangers. Get his summer suit. Oh, I can buy their bikinis. Hmm. Where's this? Kimono. Dangerous Briefs? That's just, just his speedo. <laughs> so the, the hard-boiled look uh, when I go into dungeons, that uh, gives me Dojima's outfit. So I have like a candy cigarette and I throw my jacket over my shoulder. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. I have like a bunch of quests around here too that I'm never going to see. Uh, you know what? Let's spend some time with Risei. Ever since we maxed her social league, we have ignored her completely. So let's see if she wants to go to a movie. Oh, hi! Huh? Hi, Risei! Sorry to make you wait. Oh, she actually acknowledges What's... that we're dating. That's kind of cool. I've never actually done this, so... Oh, we even went and went to go see a romantic movie. Oh, she leveled up! Bog? Awesome! That was fun! Yeah, it was great! I'm glad you had a great time. Even though I haven't talked to you in, like... Four months? Nah, like three months, probably. Yeah. It's still not proccing me to watch the Midnight Channel. I feel like I can catch more bugs now. Hooray! I don't know what to do. If I wanted to, like, this is kind of, like, perfect time to, like, go into the dungeons and spend grinding and stuff. Uh, because, uh, when, if you go into dungeons when it's raining outside, the shadows are a little bit more difficult, but they drop, uh, better loot. So, for, like, there are some quests you can only get, um, uh, from creatures that spawn on rainy days. But, I don't really want to do that, so... I'm just going to go home and just go right to evening because there's literally nothing else for me to do here. I'm just trying to kill time until the main and story now, advances the weather. like this. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Alright, let's do it. It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the midnight channel. Nanako has been rescued and you were able to arrest the culprit. There's probably no need to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. Fog is covering the town. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Take a look at this. 
Namatame's in today's paper. The front page's headlines article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Charo Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's dispositions. So it's finally over. Yeah. Seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Is it finally over? Well, the perp's been caught, so yeah. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together his story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry, I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. How's your studying going? Though you may be very busy with your studies, make sure you keep up your personal grooming. Every year, some boys come stumbling into class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their 5 o'clock shadow is more a 5-day shadow. Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair. In 18th century Russia, they also had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. Those sure were taxing times. <laughs> be sure to take this down. You'll never know what'll be on the test, just like you never know what'll be taxed next. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Big bro. Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh! How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> sorry Um... Are your injuries that bad? Hmm... Well... My wounds are just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro. <laughs> Do you need anything? Stay here. <sighs> Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. <sighs> you received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? 
Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness. But it seems that it will take more time until she fully recovers. Namatame's interrogation that has finally begun. The fog that won't lift and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. The fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. You... you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately. Oh, man. Back to free time, huh? I don't remember how long this free time lasts. Let's build things. Let's build things because I legit don't know what else to do right now. The weather's been really weird lately. What's up with all this fog? The fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. Uh. I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's toxic. 
Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home for a while. <coughs> You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? It's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got back pain. Oh, see? Speaking of back pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. Makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know what they are? Well then, Yukun, who doesn't look like he know? Do you know what an atlas is? It's a book of maps. Oh, you're very good. Yep, an atlas is a book of maps. Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of atlas on the cover. Note the spelling. It's spelled A-T-L-A-S. Okay? I mean it. How else would you spell it? Well, there's always... Ah! My back! Frickin' old dude, get out of here. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we can't do any freaking social links because it's the week before finals. Uh. Kanji, you want to go hang out? Let's go to the hot spring. I'm going to make him bike all the way there because I'm a real pal. <laughs> Yeah, you should bring your mom here every once in a while, Kanji. Let's talk about the future, Kanji. Why did he learn a healing skill? That is so useless on you! There's a list somewhere out there that tells me all the skills and stuff that they learn, but... I ain't about that life. Hang out tomorrow? Bro, what do you mean? We're at max social link, hello? I, I, sure, I guess. Oh, it's a group event. I see. That makes more sense now. We have the day off from school. Nice. We're at Okina Station. What kept you? I already told Daisuke about this, but you want to catch a movie? I saw something about a movie that looked good. It was called Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Baseball. Yeah, sounds good. I knew you'd like <sighs> it. I know I told you already. I don't want to see that one. Let's watch it. It promises to be an entertaining day. Yeah, it wasn't doing anything else anyway. Let's keep building stuff. Heavy armor Agni. Well, what's it look like? Let me see. It's going to tease me with it, huh? I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. 
You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's nothing really unusual. Maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. Days like these, I just want to spend all day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count when you use a sequence of numbers with a common difference. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Numbers with geometric progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a sequence that's even harder to count by. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. The answer's 21! Oh. The Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by starting with 0, then 1, then all others are the sum of the two before them. I wouldn't dream of having my money grow in geometric progression, but at the very least I can wish for a Fibonacci growth. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Not that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Ugh, <sighs> so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. Lady, this lady needs to be fired. Taking up all my class time, telling me about her marriage problems, telling me she hates working, wishes she could just go home and count her money. Like, what the heck? So I have an old dude who's a pervert as a teacher. I have a dude with a puppet on his hand that looks like a pedophile. I have a woman who everything she says is sexual and everything she teaches is sexual. And I have a woman who hates her job, hates her husband, hates her life, but loves money. That's it. Those are my teachers. You say you want to do something. Yeah, let's go visit Nanako. Oh, that's so cute. Mm. Nanako seems to have noticed your presence and woke up. Hey, Nanako, we came to see you. Thank you. Nanako is smiling weakly. Nanako's condition doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Nanako-chan. Mm. Friends are as worried about her as they would be about themselves. I feel that your relationship has deepened. Oh, it deepens your relationship with everybody? Oh, that's so cool! Right, let's go check out our model. What do we build? I have two. Am I building... Am I building Warhammer minis? Is that what's happening here? Am I just building Warhammer stuff? <sighs> Damn it. You know whose fault this is, right? Oops. Oh, I can only build the one model? Lame. Oh, speaking of! Oh my gosh. Ugh. The old Japanese calendar had different names for the months. September was Nagatsuki. And October was Kanazuki. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since last month. The fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in gauze like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, if my house was as nice as one of the ancient pyramids, I probably wouldn't complain about it so much. But mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests coming up. 
And if you fail the last exams, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. Well then, Yu Chan, I've got a question for you. There are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Khufu. That's right. The Great Pyramid is the tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. It took over 20 years to build and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. I'm going to put this question on next week's test. I wish you all luck on moving on to the next grade. Study hard. Thanks, puppet hand man. Oh, it's a Friday! Maybe I can hang out with, uh, da, 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 the daycare. It won't deepen just yet! What the heck do you mean it won't deepen? Oh my gosh. Unless I read it wrong again and the game is debating me, which is a real possibility. Nope. Uh, I even went to the shrine! And that annoys me a lot. Yes, yes, blah, blah, the fog, poisonous, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Hey, don't you think that there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I even see people wearing these huge gas masks around town. Yeah, and people are getting sick, too. Haven't there been people saying a lot of weird stuff lately? Like that the world is ending and that global warming is because of original sin. Nutty stuff like that. Hey... What do you think is going to happen if you think someone's sick, but you don't do anything about it? I mean, to be honest, yesterday, my dad... Alright, what teacher wants to lecture me today? You know, this guy is very energetic and hyper, but he is probably the most, like, normal teacher there is. Good morning! <laughs> What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. Are you exhausted from studying for the test around the corner? I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? <laughs> I've got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. Alright, I'll ask a question regarding cakes. Narukami! Which of these is considered a rice cake? Mochi. Excellent! Mochi is a type of rice cake. When you think of cake, you think of dessert, but something pounded together is also called a cake. That's the case with mochi, as it's rice pounded together. As another example, kamaboko is a fish cake, fish meat pounded together. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. <laughs> oh, dude, I just praised you for being a normal teacher, and now you're in here rubbing your Christmas date in our face? Get out of here. All right, well, now let's go rank up our freaking uh, daycare person. Man, I'm so annoyed that they weren't ready to rank up. I wasted so many nights when I could have just been getting blessings at the shrine. Dumb. Fog has enveloped the area. He helped out at the daycare center. Mister, you're the bad guy. No, he's playing house with me. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. I'm sorry about the other day. 
were you hurt? No, I'm fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's good to know. Harry flashed a relieved smile. Yuta was worried too, right? I'm sorry. Huh? What was that? Say it louder. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry! <laughs> Thanks, you little frickin' crap lord. <laughs> Isn't he a good boy? Hearing him call me mom, it had a nice ring to it. I was so happy when he said it. <laughs> People call him a troublemaker and a good-for-nothing, and I believed all the things they said. I didn't bother to look at him with my own eyes. He gets angry and defends people. He apologizes when he needs to. He's actually a sweet boy. Yeah, he is. Although he punched me in the <laughs> dick. And I'm still mad about it. Isn't he? Harry laughed and nodded. I was labeling him like everyone else. He's not related to me. He's the last wife's child. He doesn't listen to me. He's a troublemaker at school. I labeled him over and over, then I told myself it couldn't be helped. I was blind. No, I wasn't even trying to see him for myself. Maybe I was just afraid of facing him. What took me so long, huh? It's never too late. You're right. Utah, let's go home. Goodbye, and thanks for today. You're welcome, then I guess. Alright, well, we're not gonna make that mistake again. We're gonna go immediately to the shrine every day until I see the words your relationship could increase soon. Okay, good. Great. Final start tomorrow, huh? Oh, I'm not even gonna leave the house because there's nothing to do. Finals week. Let's get it. Yo. Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh, yeah. And finals start today. But that's seriously not the point now. What's going to happen? Yeah, I'm worried too. I thought that stuff about the fog being harmful to people was just a rumor. But people are getting sick. And even besides that, there have been a lot of weird rumors being spread around, too. Damn, I don't like how any of this feels. Although, I do think, like, right after the finals, I think is when the story advances. I thought that uh, at the end of... Dude, I don't care. You guys aren't going to say anything helpful. Yeah, fog, 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 fog. Everyone just talking about the fog. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I thought uh, at the end of last episode 
I thought this one was going to be like the huge like chunk of main plot, but it was just a little tiny Nanako event and then another chunk of free time. But once finals are over and we hit December, I'm almost certain that uh, that's when like things just start going and it gets like real crazy. I'm just gonna skip this because they're not, they're literally not saying anything useful. It's just multiple repetition about, hey, did you hear something crazy about the fog being dangerous? And the video is already uh, like f around 40 minutes long, and I'm trying to get to. Man, this fog just won't quit. This. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? Of course. Oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? G guys, put on your glasses! When you put your glasses on, your vision becomes much clearer. Whoa, it's all clear. Oh, what the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um, could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? You guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's it's just a thought. <laughs> You're just a thought. Got him. The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get him over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. There will be dramatic turns in the story from this point. It is strongly recommended that you take this opportunity to save. Yeah, all right. Game knows best. All right. Well, they aren't wrong when they say things are about to get absolutely crazy. So I know, again, it's kind of early. Um, we're at just a little over 40 minutes in the video. But... Uh, I don't want things to go on for too long, so I'm probably going to wrap this video here, and then we will start next time with just the beginning of all the craziness. For real this time, there shouldn't be any, like, little scene, and then another, like, week and a half of downtime. It'll just, just start, and it's going to go until we get where we're going, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.